Hey guys, I recently decided I want to change the way the batteries were mounted on the front of my travel trailer. I want to do away with the factory mount and add a box, a, a tongue box or some type of box there to put my batteries in and also have a little extra storage. So I decided to go with the Harbor Freight trailer tongue box. Now they're made for the Harbor Freight trailers, the little small trailers, but it worked perfect here on my travel trailer. It was a nice fit, an easy modification. I'll show you how I did it. Check it out. All right, here is the box that I purchased to go on my trailer. This is from Harbor Freight. It's a Hallmaster trailer tongue box. Now this is the smallest one they offer. The inside dimensions are showing 11 inches long. That's actually from front to back. The 27 and a half would be from side to side on the front part. 34 and a half would be from side to side on the back part because it's at an angle. And then 11 and a half inches high. And you see the overall dimensions there. 12 by 35 by 12 and an eighth. Now, what I'm going to do is take this battery off, then I'm going to test fit the box. If it works, I'm going to cut this tray off because that's not needed anymore. And the tray is actually going to be in the way once I start to mount my spare tire underneath. I can't have my spare tire on the back anymore due to my cargo rack. After removing the battery in the battery box, I was able to test fit the trailer tongue box. I wanted to make sure that I was happy with the fit prior to cutting away the battery tray. I'm liking the box, but I just want to make sure the big battery fits and there's room for at least one more. And there is. Plenty of room for the batteries and a little storage. Here I'm using my 18 volt Ryobi side grinder with a cutoff wheel to cut away the battery tray. I don't recommend using a battery powered side grinder for a big job unless you have several batteries on hand. It does go through them pretty quick. Once I had the old battery tray cut away, I decided I wanted to add some type of support under the box due to the weight of the battery and I want to add more batteries later on. I decided the old battery tray would be perfect if I flipped it over and brought it up level with the top of the trailer tongue. Here I'm just grinding away a little paint so I can have a place to weld the old battery tray to the trailer tongue. As you can see, the old battery tray flipped upside down is the perfect support underneath this new trailer tongue box. And that's me doing all the welding on this project. I'm kind of getting the hang of this welding thing. Thanks to my retired father-in-law, for allowing me to use his welder on the last two modifications. So just to recap, this battery tray is set down below the top of the trailer tongue about three or four inches before I removed it. Now it's upside down, flush with the top of the trailer tongue, and it's gonna be the perfect support for this new trailer box. I covered all of the bare metal with the black Rust-Oleum spray paint. Once that was dry, I did a quick test fit of the box, centered it up, made sure it was in the perfect spot, and then I attached it using the self-tapping screws. All right guys, here is the tongue box. You can see the fit. It's obviously made for a smaller trailer, but that is completely fine, nothing wrong with that. And under this again is that brace, the old battery rack that I turned upside down. You can see that I used two of the self-tapping screws on this side and the same on the other side. My father-in-law gave me a piece of angle aluminum with self-tapping screws I put one on each side of the battery so it won't shift or move. There's room in here for another battery of the same size, possibly three of the smaller batteries. And if I went six volt, uh, I could probably put four or more. I did drill a hole on that side for those wires to come through. I put some stuff around the wires to protect that. And later on, I may be putting a light strip up here with a magnetic switch so that when you open it, the light comes on. And for those of you wondering about the vent, I haven't got it vented yet, but it will. I will have it vented up. I'm thinking about putting one vent on each side. I'm not sure. Maybe on the front, on the side, I'm not sure. But I am going to vent it. All battery compartments need to be vented. And there's plenty of room for now. I've only got one battery. And I've got quite a few tools in my front compartment that can go in here. All right, guys, that's it. I hope this video was helpful. Maybe give you some ideas on something you can expand on. It was a pretty simple modification and it didn't take too long. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day.